Okay, it's that time again. The time when we take a look at real estate trends and numbers for the previous month. We're a month deeper into 2024. It is flying along. And we're going to take a look at Plano, Frisco, and Prosper. We're going to look at things like the average sales price for a home, the average number of days on market, and uh, how many showings you're getting every month. It's good to know the numbers because if you're about to buy or sell, you want to consider those things before you make this big decision about a huge financial transaction. In Plano, the average sales price of a home was just under $610,000. Last month, it was over $611,000. That's a slight change, not too much to worry about. A year ago, it was just over $614,000. Not much of a change there either. So the prices have been pretty stable. Stability is a good thing. The average days on market in September were 20. That means most homes that have been on the market in Plano had been on the market for 20 days. That's down from last month when it was 27. That's a good change because you don't want your home to sit on the market very long. Not if you don't have to. The number of homes on the market also dropped to 585. Last month, they were at 640. If you're a seller, less competition is good. If you're a buyer, that gives you fewer things to choose from. The number of homes that went under contract in September was 135. Last month, they were 160. That's down about 15%, but that is a seasonal thing. During the summer months, July and August, more people are looking to get into a home as quickly as possible because they want to be into the school district where they want their kids to go to school. So naturally, that number of buyers will drop off in September after school has started. The number of closings in September was also down to 159. Last month, there were 212. This is for the same reason that I just mentioned. Both of those numbers are slightly down from over a year ago. So that's good that they haven't dropped radically. The number of showings per home this month, pretty close to the same as it was last month. 6.1 this month, 6.3 last month. We really want that number to start going up. Why? Because the more people that see your home, the more chances you have to get offers. In Frisco, the average sales price of a home was just under $757,000. Last month, it was just under $818,000. That's a drop of over 7%. The average number of days that a home was on the market was up to 46 days. As opposed to last month, they had been on the market 41 days. The number of homes on the market dropped to 562 versus last month, there were 739. As I mentioned in Plano, that's great if you're a seller because you have fewer homes to compete against. If you're a buyer, you have fewer to look at. The number of homes that went under contract in September 2024 also dropped to 119 as opposed to last month when there were 152 that went under contract. Closings for the month of September dropped to 127 versus last month, there were 210. That could be because there were a lot of people rushing to get into a new home by the end of August. So September is generally a little slower. Number of showings also dropped slightly to 4.8 per home, as opposed to 5.1 per home last month. They're way down from last year, down 33%, when you were getting an average of 7.2 showings per home. Now let's take a look at Prosper. The average sales price in September was just under $819,000. That's a drop from last month when it was $936,152. So I took a deeper dive into those numbers. And what I saw was that last month, there were twice as many homes over a million dollars that sold as compared to September. So that skewed that average number way up. The average days on market, that remained exactly the same. The number of homes on the market dropped slightly to 208 versus 227 last month. The number of homes that went under contract actually went up. The number of closings in September dropped to 34 as opposed to September when there were 59. It's probably because more people were scrambling to buy a home in the month of August so they could be set for school. September tends to drop off just a little bit. 
The number of showings was virtually the same, 4.8 for September versus 4.4 for last month. That is slightly higher than it was last year at this time when there was an average number of showings of 3.9 per home. Okay, so there you go. Those are the trends for Plano, Frisco, and Prosper. As you can see, prices have remained pretty steady. The number of days on market, how long it takes you to sell your home, has gone down a little bit, so that's good. Unfortunately, compared to last year, it's gone way up. What that means is that if you're going to be selling your home, you just need to be patient. It's taking a little longer than it did last year. If you'd like to uh, hear more about this next month, we're going to be posting another one. Please like and subscribe. Check for updates. And if you're looking for a home in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I'm going to put a link to my website in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.